Hello everyone. My name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 18 of solving SQL challenges playlist. And in this video, we will discuss a problem on finding customers who have done transactions on five consecutive days. So what is this problem all about? Let us first understand that part. Okay. So here we have orders table given where uh, we have details about uh, transactions like uh, what is the order ID, what is the customer ID and uh, what was the order date. So if you observe here carefully, customer ID 1 has done multiple transactions starting from 1st January 2024 to 7th January 2024. Okay. And if you observe order date for these transactions, then you will observe that the transactions are continuous like customer ID 1 has done transaction on 1st, 2nd, 3rd and on 3rd there were 2 transactions then 4th, then 5th. So at least we can say that customer ID 1 has done transactions on 5 consecutive days starting from 1 to 5. Of course he has done transactions on 7th of January also but at least that particular customer ID has uh, satisfies the criteria of uh, doing transactions on uh, five consecutive days. Okay. So this customer ID will come in output. So for customer ID one, customer name is this one, customer underscore A. And that's what we are getting in output. Okay. So same thing you can verify for other customers and uh, those customers who have done transactions on five consecutive days, should come in output. Okay. And here we should not be confused with multiple transactions done on same date. So in case if some customer is performing multiple transaction on same date, we have to consider it as one only for that particular date. Okay. And keeping this point in mind, we have to calculate whether the customer has done transactions on five consecutive days or not. So let us try to find out the output and implement this logic using SQL query and for that let me switch to SSMS and we already have orders table given so let me select it and this is the same data what was given in our slide okay so for customer ID 1 if you observe there is a transaction on 1st January then second transaction on 2nd January so it is continuous third transaction on third January. Again, this is continuous. This is fourth transaction, but on third January only. So these two transactions, we will consider it as one. Okay. So first transaction on first, second transaction on second, third transaction on third, fourth transaction on fourth, fifth transaction on fifth. So for this particular customer ID, we have got five transactions on five consecutive days and there is no gap between two dates for these five transactions. So this particular customer ID will come in our output. Okay. Now let us check for customer ID two. for customer ID two, first transaction was on 1st of January. Second was on 2nd of January. So it is continuous till now. Third transaction was on 3rd of January. It's fine. It's continuous. Now fourth transaction was on 5th of January. So there's a gap in order date between third and fourth transactions. So this particular customer ID has not qualified. Now let us check for customer ID three. First transaction on 1st January, second transaction on 2nd January, third transaction on 4th January. So there's a gap in date between second and third transaction. So again, it has not qualified. Now for customer ID 4, first transaction was on first, second transaction was on second, so it is continuous till here. Third transaction was on third, it is again continuous. Fourth transaction was on fourth, so it is continuous. And fifth transaction was on fifth. So for this particular customer ID, there were five transactions on five consecutive days. So customer ID 4 has qualified. So customer ID 4 and customer ID 1 will come in our output. So let us implement this logic using SQL query.
now here i'll create fourth column using dense rank why am i using dense rank i'll make it clear don't worry so i'll use dense rank then over we need to create window so i'll write partition by customer id so this will create one window inside this we will create dense rank for customer id 2 it will create another window and uh, inside this window it will create dense rank okay so we will give partition by customer id and uh, then in which order we should assign rank to every row we should give order by order date okay so let's say this is first window and inside this window with increasing order date i'll assign rank to every row okay and uh, let me name this column as rank now let me run it just observe for customer id 1 we have created rank for every row so for first row rank is 1 for second row rank is 2 so this rank it is assigning based on order by date so this was the smallest date so rank is 1 then comes this date so rank is 2 then for this date since these two dates are same so rank is 3 for these two rows then for this date rank is 4 similarly it will assign rank to every row inside particular window now what i will do i'll subtract this particular day let's say this value is 1 so i'll subtract 1 from this value and uh, in this row i'll subtract 3 from this value in this row i'll subtract 4 from this value okay so basically i'll subtract these number of days from this column in order to create fifth column okay so basically it is going to create a magic let us see so here i will use select everything from below subquery and since i have to subtract this number of days from this date i'll use date add function here first parameter is what you want to subtract or add so i have to subtract day number so i'll use day second is number of day you want to add or subtract so i want to subtract this number of day which is present inside rank column so i'll use rank now i need to give minus sign because i want to subtract okay if you don't give minus sign it will add those number of days now third parameter is on what value you want to perform this so basically we want to subtract from this date so i'll give order date as third parameter so basically this part will create fifth column and let us see what type of value we are getting in this column see we got some value here right and uh, some interesting values like wherever days are consecutive we are getting same value and uh, after fifth customer id one has done transaction on seventh so there is a gap right so it is not consecutive so for this row we are getting different value than this one okay so here we can say that uh, wherever these values are same the date are consecutive so basically this column will help us to find consecutive dates okay now let us understand the impact if i would have used row number in place of dense rank so what would have happened see in case of dense rank wherever the value is same we are getting same rank and because of these things only we are getting same value in this fifth column okay but if we use row number then what will happen let us see first let us select this part so here we can observe that although these two dates are same still value are different and since value are different whenever we subtract this number of day from this date these two row will have different value in fifth column so let us verify that part if i run this see till here date are same but from here to here it has changed because of this thing okay so if anyhow we are able to control this value wherever order date is same 
then we can control value inside this column right and if we are able to control values for these two rows then of course from here till here we can get a fixed value or a constant value right so that's why i have used a dense rank you can also check if you use rank it will not help us same thing because rank will assign same value but it will create void for next value means it has uh, skipped rank value as 4 and uh, given value is 5 so rank equals 4 it's skipped because these two value are same okay so that's why we have used dense rank so in short if i tell if i use dense rank then it will be able to control the duplicate data or duplicate transaction or better to say multiple transactions done by a particular customer on same date okay so this is done now since it has created window for uh, every consecutive dates so if you see wherever value is same till here dates should be continuous or uh, better to say consecutive dates for that particular customer id now we want only selected column so in place of star i will write customer underscore id this is the first column i want second is order underscore date and uh, third is rank column and uh, same we can give here third column will come as rank r n k and uh, we have created fourth column which is basically creating a partition or which is basically creating a window for consecutive dates okay so we will name this column as partition underscore date so let me run it now our next step should be to remove multiple orders or transactions done by a particular customer on same date so for every date as per our requirement we should only keep one transaction so i'll write here distinct so basically if you see here this two row are duplicate because we have removed order id so we can remove this by using distinct then select it it will remove duplicate row now we will keep this everything inside ct underscore order expression as this one let me select select star from ct underscore order so basically it should output same result now we want to check which customer id has done five consecutive transactions if anyhow we are able to check count of this value and let's say count is n then we can say that uh, this particular customer id has done transactions on n consecutive date so here in this case n is 5 so we can say that customer id 1 has done transactions on uh, 5 consecutive date so indirectly we want to find count of this column and wherever count is equal to or greater than 5 we can get those customer id in our output table so in place of star i'll write customer id then i want to count this customer id now since we are performing aggregation we have to use group by for non-aggregated column so group by this one comma also we need to group this column right so grouping these values we can find number of customer id so i'll write partition date okay let me select it see corresponding to every customer id we got some count value right and this count value means this particular customer id has done five consecutive transactions okay similarly for second row count is three that means this particular customer id has done transactions on three consecutive date similarly we can check for other customer id here but according to the requirement we want those customer id in output who have done transaction on at least five consecutive dates so from here we can say that customer id one has done these five transactions and then customer id four has done this five transaction so these two customer id has satisfied the condition so they should come in output now 
according to the output we want customer name not customer id and we have another table let me select it here where we have customer name for every customer id so in output we want this name so for that what we need to do first uh, let me restructure this query because we don't want this count in output right so we just only want customer id and we want only those customer id having count greater than equal to 5 okay and from here we can remove this now let us see okay we are getting this right now here instead of customer id i want customer name but it is present in customers table so we need to perform inner join on this customer table let me alias this table as c now on which key we have to perform join in this ct order we have customer id and in customers table we have this customer id so we can join on this column right so we will write on ct order dot customer id equals c dot customer id okay so joining is done now instead of customer id we want customer underscore name okay so here i'll write customer underscore name and this we are getting from customer table so c dot here we need to write group by we can do anything like c dot or ct dot and this partition underscore date is in ct table again we can give anything let me write this okay so now this is done now let me select it okay we are getting some error column this is invalid because this is not present in group by so we have discussed these things right whenever we want to perform any aggregation non aggregated column should be in group by so instead of customer id here we can give customer name in group by now let me run it see we got the exact output what we wanted so this customer underscore a corresponds to customer id 1 and this customer underscore d corresponds to customer id value 4 okay and this was the expected output and this is the query what we have used in order to get the required output okay okay guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you have enjoyed this content then uh, please don't forget to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about the new video update we will meet in our next video with a new challenge so please stay tuned till then take care and goodbye